hey everyone welcome back to another video so in today's video we are going to see how you can create a alert view in swift ui with two text fields so if you can see here if i click on this show alert button it will present me one alert view with alert title and message also two text fields for username so if i say prashant here and for password i will say one two three four five and it is hiding this because it's a secure type text field and then we have this cancel and login button if i say login then i'm passing that data here and i'm displaying it here and if i say here that cancel then it will not pass any data here but if i say again login it will pass those empty details here so this is what we are going to create in today's video which is very easy in swift ui so let's get started so open new project let me full size this select app let's name it as alert demo make sure these settings are same click next let's save it on our desktop so the first thing what we are going to do is we are going to create two fields because we want to save our username and password so let's create two fields here there is state private var let's call the first one as username let's create the second property which will we call it as password okay so we have our two properties now we can create our view so on the view we have one button so for that i will first create use vstack because below the button we want to show username password also so let's create button with action and label action we will add here and for label we want to say show alert okay so for showing the alert i'm going to call one function here which will be called as alert view and now let's create this function outside our body function alert view no parameters we are going to pass and nothing we are going to re uh, return so now here we can create our actual alert view so to create an alert view what we are going to do is we will say let alert equals to ui alert controller we are going to use and this needs three things title message and preferred style so title we will say alert title for message we will say alert message and for this we will say dot alert we want not the action sheet now below this we want to create the text fields for our alert so i will say alert dot text field or i can say dot add text field option we have here and here what we can do is we can just remove this default part and we can say something like this closure and let me just write this again this part remove it and add the closure like this and here i will say username in so here you can name it anything i am saying username and now i can give the placeholder to this which will actually show inside our alert view so i will say here username so like this i can create one more text field which will be password so let me give some spacing here and let's call it as password and for password i want to give placeholder as password and i also want to set one more property which is password dot is secure text entry and we'll say true so that it will not show the password which user is typing in the text field so now we have added our two text fields now the next part is we have to create the action so you can see that we have two actions one is login and other is cancel so let's create those so let's say login action which will be equal to ui alert action and this needs again title and style so we'll use title style and handler also for title i will say login for style we can say dot default 
and for handler i will do like this we don't want anything in return here so i will say this and inside this we will write the code at the end for now we will just say print login click now below this we need to create the next action which is our cancel action so let cancel action equals to it will be same alert action with title title will be cancel style will be different here which is destructive so that it will show it in red color and for this i will say print cancel clicked okay now we have created our two actions now we need to add those actions to our alert view so for that i will say alert dot add action first i will add the login action and then i will say again alert dot add action and this time i will say cancel action now we have added both the actions now the final part is presenting this alert so for that i will say ui application dot share dot windows dot first and inside this we have the root view controller so i will say dot root view controller and this root view controller has a method called present then i will present the alert so i will say alert for animation i will say true and for the completion you can do anything here so let's say do anything here now in this demo we are not going to do anything so for that i will just writing this comment here now let's run it and see how it is working so this is iphone 11 and i'm running it on my iphone sc so let's see okay sometimes it takes time to load let me just click here reset this and once this loaded then we can check okay this is loaded now you can see if i press on show alert it is presenting me these two things and if i say cancel it is hiding that part also now i want to say here you can see if i click on cancel it is showing me that and if i click on login it is also printing the login click and cancel click now what i want to do is once i click on login i want to save those values and show it here below my button so for that what i will do is first i will add text here which is username and one more text as password and when i click on login i want to save value in my username and password so i will say username equals to alert dot text fields from this i will fetch the zeroth index for text field because that will be for my username dot text i will say and same i want to do for username so let me just unwrap this like this and also i can copy this and do it same for password password and it will be on from the first index text field so now let's run it again and see okay i need to unwrap this also now it's fine we can run it and see okay let's click on show alert sometimes you can see at the start it is giving some different animation i think that's a bug currently in this presenting the alert let's click on show alert again okay now i will say here prashan g and at the bottom i will give the password and i will click on login and it should actually display here yeah it's taking a little bit of time but you can see now it's reflecting here again if i click login it will pass the empty fields and it will show like this if i click cancel you can see here it is in the console working fine so this is how you can use a native alert view in your swift ui project so thank you guys for watching today's video and if you want the code for today's video you can head to my this uh, github page where i will upload the code for today's video also you can follow me on instagram where i post daily updates about my videos so that you will not uh, miss any of the video in the future so thank you guys for watching this video and bye